Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Rain Day Gaming. My name is Rain Day, and today we are going to be playing some Raw. We're going to be doing a little bit of a Raw thing, you know. We're going to pick up, let's see, I want to get some, I probably want to get some penetration. I'm feeling like I'm going to be going full power in this build. Uh, and so I'm going to go a full power build with Raw. Basically not going for utility. Uh, we may have some items in there. We may have some items that help with healing. But I'm just going to be going for a full power build. The reason being is I'm kind of having fun. This is more of a gameplay, not necessarily a god guide, um, which I do a lot of. And if you're interested in those, uh, check them out. You also learn a lot definitely with Raw. Here, uh, we'll talk about his abilities, but I just kind of want to do more of a general gameplay rather than, you know, a full-on god guide, build this, gotta build that. So, uh, very aggressive start from the Anubis there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and be able to stop here. We're gonna blind the... And actually, there's too many minions here. She's most likely going to die. She might get the kill. Uh, but because we've got family, we've got a couple other people. I want to support him here, so he's got the opportunity to take her out. Now we're gonna have to, we're gonna be able to do a lot of good things here. We got in the slow, and we might be able to pick up the Anubis, and we do fantastic. Um, the Ares has to pull back. Their team has to pull back. Although the Neath does get uh, something going on there, so that was unfortunate. The Zeus does not finish me off with his detonate charge. We able to pull back with a two to one uh, lead here for our team, which is nice. Nice start. A little bit of aggressive start by the. Uh, by the Awilix there, just going ham. I'm, I think she thought the damage would finish him off for sure, uh, but it, it didn't. So that's the price you pay. Uh, very, very good pros can make that calculation. Okay, I know if I get two basic attacks and get that, it will basically just die. That's yeah, a very, very strong... All right, so I was able to hit two there. The Neath is running. She's going to be back in just a moment. We're able to take her out, so that, that uh, ultimate does work in my favor. You know, the Ares force it out. If Hopefully Fenrir gets that, too. So we go up uh, three kills to, I believe, one there, which was very, very strong for us. Um, I believe the Bacchus probably did get off his, uh, his drunk state, hopefully. Uh, we would hope and put a little bit of uh, damage there on those two players as I go ahead and make my way back to the safety of uh, my two pillars. This is kind of where you know you're safe. You kind of just hang around here, you know. Pretty much nothing bad will happen unless you've got a very, very aggressive team. Luckily, you get the Zeus there with my Celestial Beam, which is Ra's number one. Basically, a just a straightforward, slow-moving, powerful strike from the sun. Uh, Anubis, again, playing very aggressively. Uh, we see he's right here, and so we're going to go ahead and uh, slow him. We're going to throw our number one down as well, and uh, that should be uh, done. Anubis. Now, we're going ahead here on the Ares. He does not have his ultimate, it looks like, but we are going to get the stun coming from Bacchus. He's turning back with the fire, forcing Earlier to take some steps back. The Finrod goes with the adjustment. Ares is looking to run away. He does get away, uh, except he gets away to his death. The Awilix looking to jump, and let's see if she gets away. I have my ultimate just in case. Bacchus is going to be able to stun there. We do a little bit of damage on the Zeus, but not enough to pull to kill. We have to pull back here. Back into our little pillars of safety. <laughs> and uh, we'll go ahead and, and uh, help out. Throw some health on these guys. Just kidding. They're already full health. Doesn't really matter. Looks like our Uller will get taken out here. There's really not much I can do to support him because I do not have the health or the mana. I have the health. I just don't have the mana to be able to do something. Let's see if we can go here. Use ability to move a little bit faster. Of course, Ra's passive uh, allows him to move faster the more abilities he uses. There's a little ticking timer here on the bottom left, as you can see. Uh, let's see what we can do here. We cannot throw that down on anybody meaningful, so I'll throw it down on myself. Why not? And uh, we'll go back here. Hopefully those minions don't get in. Good. They didn't get in. I'm just trying to keep up my passive here, so I'm moving quickly. Let's throw this beam down, and uh, let's move into it. Let's move into it. Okay, Ares. So Ares, so we're 9-5, and five, so we're doing pretty well. I'm liking it, guys. I'm liking it. I'm feeling it, feeling good about it, and I'm also appreciating you all who are watching the video now and what you guys uh, said in the last video. I thought that was really, uh, really, really cool of you guys to really support uh, the positive community conversation about Smite. I think uh, with your guys' comments, with the way that you have addressed the situation thus far, I, I can see it being not necessarily something that might happen. I see it being an inevitability. I just see it being something where this community is going to grow. The people in it are going to be to be known for their intelligence, for their uh, their constructive criticism, known for... Uh, Smite is going to be a game that's known for people who take the time to actually critique so that it supports growth, um, to be a place where people are welcomed. And I think that's all part, uh, and mostly in part, to the efforts that you all make to be a part of this community in the comments section, to be a part of this community um, with your support in, in endless ways. 
but uh, I just think that is what comes. That is that is just an effect of uh, what you guys are doing now. We're going to get the slow here on the Aries. I do obviously have my ultimate in case he gets away. It looks like a basic attack will finish it there. And uh, the Anubis being extremely aggressive as he has been all game. Gets hit by the Poseidon ult and my Celestial Beam. And a basic attack by Uller is going to finish him off as well. So we're 12 and 5. So we seem to be pushing this lane really nicely. We seem to be uh, finishing off our kills really nicely. Which is something you like to see. And this won't always be the case as you guys I'm sure know. Uh, you're going to be put in situations where uh, you get so close yet are so far. Now... Uh, I have my ult, but I don't have any beads. And one of the things is, if you want to play this full... Oh, wow, what a fantastic combo here. It looks like we're going to be able to maybe get the Anubis. Yeah, we do. Uh, I had to take the kill. We might get a double kill here. Uh, it doesn't reach on the Ares, but we might. And the healing is not going to save Fenrir. It's coming close, but it's not going to save him. So we're going to drop back, of course, into our Pillars of Safety. <laughs> and hang out over here. Uh, obviously, Ra's number one, that big beam of damage. His number two is a very interesting form of CC, one of the only blinds in the game, the only blind in the game. You use it, and if you are staring at Ra while this goes off, your screen turns white for a little bit. It's kind of like you've been, uh, you know, uh, metaphorically blinded, except your screen actually is blinded, so it works the same way, literally, to blind you as it would metaphorically. And, uh, and in the... Uh, in the event that that does happen, you are also slowed as well because you are in range of that ability going off. Now, what I want to pick up now is going to be... I'm going to go Penetration with Obsidian Shard. Rather than Spear of the Maguses, people don't usually stand in his number three for more than one tick. Um, it's going to happen occasionally, but it's not something that happens quite often. So one of the things I like to do is make sure that with raw i'm picking obsidian shard because it's going to maximize each and every time i hit with my celestial beam each and every time and that my friends is why i saved my ultimates that right there because i was pay playing with the no bead strategy um i have a character who has his own form of cc in his ultimate so i did not need to pick up beads against Ares at least immediately it might be something i still do but i did not need to pick it up immediately so um chrome spin is a good item for him and i'm going to pick that up actually i'm not going to pick that up now what i'm going to do is pick up um something that allows me to get a little bit more movement speed and some healing that's going to be rod of asclepius a uh, great item that allows me to increase my movement speed, my health, my magical power, and increase the regeneration of allies uh, within a certain amount of units by 15%. So people just getting hit with my healing abilities, once that item's finished, it's going to be that much more effective by 15%. So that's a big number. That's a good number. Uh, very good item for Raw and a lot of other healers. Um, and just makes his healing more of, a, of an issue uh, for the enemy team in terms of sustaining. You just, you, you gotta, you gotta hate it when a team is almost at near death and you guys are running out of mana, running out of your cooldowns, all that good stuff, right? Um, that damage is definitely going to be enough. Um, who do we want to go for here? Is it the Anubis? Is it the Ares? I know they are wary of, look at how he's, oh no, he's running because he's drunk, sorry. I, I was giving myself credit. He's like, wow, he really, he really thinks I'm going to snipe him from here. Wow. I did such a good job sniping beforehand. <laughs> no, but but uh, I don't know if I mentioned this. You get slow, but you also take a little bit of damage with Ross number two. So if you do get close to a player um, with your number two, you will also cause damage. One of the ways you can finish somebody if they're just really almost there. You know, they're almost there. You need a little bit of extra damage. Number two slows. And while that's happening, you obviously want to hit a few basic attacks as well if you can. So it looks like he's going to get the stun on the Anubis, which is going to be my prime target. We do not hit him with that, but the uh, we are aware of the Awilix in this area. Let's see if the Ares is going to use his ultimate. He hasn't used it yet. He usually likes to use it at this point from what I've seen when he is uh, kind of in a dire situation here. Uh, now, he's used it, so now I know uh, I'm going to be free to use my uh, ultimate, not having to worry about Ares going ahead and getting me next. So that's something that's good. He's going to be turning around. I probably can snipe. I just don't have the distance. And the Anubis uh, is is right there. I do not want to get caught in his wraps. So we'll go ahead and finish these minions off. Continuing to add to our Book of Thoth stacks here, which are at 56, with 56 stacks. That's very good for us. Uh, a lot of mana, a lot of damage. As you notice, I'm, being able, I'm able to stay out that much longer now at this point in the game uh, because I have that much more mana. 
for my abilities and obviously I have that self-sustain with raw with this number three I could pop that on myself and really stay in lane very very long so it's very nice to support your teammates and give them also that health sustain as well they might be looking for spying your teammates looking at them Fenrir giving me the thanks you're welcome buddy no problem at all. So we get the jump, the initiate by Bacchus going for the stun. He doesn't get it. He's uh, stunned by the Anubis there. Anubis backing off the Fenrir. What a jump. Brings him back towards me. I throw my number three, two, my one down, but I miss. Uh, Ares looking to uh, interact and engage in some way, but he's not able to find it. He seems to be just running around. Zeus, Chain Lightning hits a few of us. I go, I go ahead for my ultimate. I do not get them. They move just out of the way. There was two of them stacked up there. Looks like we're not even going to pick up one kill in this engagement. If I get chained, I could be done here. So I'm going to be pulling back and Yes, I am back into my safety of my pillars. Ooh, that was a little scary. That did not go the way we wanted, but hey, most of the game has. We are only up by about 60 points, so this is not something they can, you know, just never climb back from. This is something that they definitely can, uh, you know, get themselves back into if we are not careful. So we got to be careful here. We got to pick our moments. Uh, again, my ultimate is down, so I am aware and wary of the Ares. Finding myself here, maybe I can support my team from the back line with some healing and see if I could just stay in this fight a little bit longer. Uh, obviously, uh, very, very good. The Willix, what a stun. That was fantastic. Discouraging that leap onto the Fenrir. Although she probably would have died had she gotten there, she would have most likely killed our Fenrir as well, which is just not something that we want. Looks like the uh, Ares is going to get me. He's going to chain me as well. I'm going to try and just juke here in my healing fountain, and we're able to get it. Someone is coming for me. The Anubis might be coming for me here. But I'm able to pull out. And is this the time? Is this the time? I see a lot of stuns. I see a lot of CC. Can we make something happen? Ow! No! What? Oh my god, the jump makes her invincible, I guess, or something. I don't know. Maybe I just didn't, I wasn't in range. That was so unfortunate. I thought I had it. I thought I had the comeback kill. Uh, we're going to go ahead into uh, Rod of Tahuti at this point because we're going to get uh, just a power spike from that. Continuing to go full power with this raw build. We are 4-0 and 11. And uh, I'm sure we're doing some good damage onto the enemy team and the minions, of course. And uh, we'll step back here. Gosh, I wanted that Anubis, guys. I wanted that Anubis. All right, you can't always get what you want. Now, one of the tricks with raw that will help a beginning player and somebody who's looking for um, some ideas with raw um, is really to actually use your number two before you use a lot of your other abilities. If you're able to get kind of up in your face as a raw and use that, it makes your one and your ultimate a lot easier to land because that person is slowed and slowed by a pretty significant margin. Um, okay, let's get some healing onto my team. That's not going to save them. That's not going to help them survive here. But we might be able to get some, some abilities off that do help change. Let's see if we can get a little bit of snipe here. And we do, but it's not enough to take... Oh, but he's... He's rooted, no! All right, we might be able to get the Zeus here. I've gotten pulled by the Ares. Luckily, he did not chain me. He changed the Fenrir, and that saves my life there. 25 to 20, as you can see, we are still up, but up by only 40, and we're only down, we're only up by five kills. So this game is getting a little tight, guys. We'll see what's happening next. Stay tuned. Don't change that dial. Don't click that other tab that you've got of possibly unsavory things and other YouTube videos. Don't even think about clicking that. You stay tuned to Rain Day Gaming and see how this game finishes. The Ares looking for a pick. He can't get it. Our big boulder guy trying to come in. We're stopping him, throwing everything we have on it. We're going to land him and finish him off. The Willix can't, but the Anubis goes hard trying to finish me off. It's not enough. Is the Willix going to jump? She decides not to. She's retreating, actually. The Poseidon Kraken comes out. Zeus, full health in near our base. The Fenrir comes, jumps on him. He is going to have a very quick death, I can tell you that. The Willix and the Neath are now retreating because we have five men coming at them for a very, very big push here they have one down he just got back up the Ares finds the link but that's not enough with the push that we have the Anubis is going to oh he avoids getting hit there the damage coming out from the Ares we're going to put our three down to space out the Anubis and the enemy team Bacchus with a great jump but gets stunned out of his own stun uh not able to hit that but it looks like he's going to be able to land something like that very very soon the Anubis looking to run away but we're not going to let him get away are we guys are we no, we're not. There we go. And we're on a rampage here. We finally get the tune we needed. 
Zeus coming in. The Uller doing a damage with the Awilix, but we're going to be able to help him out to stay alive. But the, oh, the damage from the Zeus knocks him out and takes him into the afterlife where he so desperately didn't want to go and see that Anubis again. But I'm sure the Anubis has a few words for him now that they're both dead and able to talk down there. But he's back, they're back, the squabble is over, let's get back to the real battleground of the gods here in Smite Arena. We're up by 40 points, the Anubis running away, playing again a very aggressive game. I do not recommend that necessarily as an Anubis, you will find yourself getting killed a lot. I'm going to throw this healing of Sir, oh it doesn't go out because of the stun and we get pulled and now it is 28 to 26 in terms of kills. My circle of healing did not go out, Solar Blessing was not able to get off before uh, the Ares pull happened. That was a bad, bad play by me. I was not able to do what I needed. However, we are going to get the Neath there and it's going to hit the Awilix. That will allow our damage to significantly uh, be increased here. Let's see if we can go ahead and finish off the Ares. We can't. He pulls away just the right time and I get pulled and taken down by Sergeant Lion's uh, grasping hands there. And now it is 31 to 28. We are down by 30 points, but this game is nowhere near from over, guys. Stay tuned and help me Help me help you have a good experience by helping me, giving me some good energy. Let's finish this game, guys. Let's do this the right way. I've been playing a little bit over, uh, I think. And oh, and we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish off the Anubis there with our number two and our basic attack. Bacchus doing very, very well. I have to be very wary of the Ares here. He's coming out with a lot of damage, and he's got his ultimate. I do not have mine up. This is a great time now that I've got my Rod of Tahuti and most of my damage to buy beads. Now I can finally afford that. Not that I couldn't afford it all the game, but it's not a big deal for me to prioritize and grab that. So I will be doing that right now. Uh, we might actually be able to pick up this uh, blue buff, which will allow me a little bit more cooldown reduction as well. Uh, I'll be able to grab that. And uh, for the remainder of the fight, we will have this, it should look like. Let's see if we can get some type of stun here on the Anubis. Oh, we will go ahead and finish it off. We get the double ultimate, and it lands. The uh, Circle of Healing is going to, the Solar Blessing is going to come out onto my teammate there, the Bacchus. And we're going to get the final kill onto the Zeus to take the victory. 29 to 0, 6, 2, and 17 gameplay here with Ra. 35 to 30 kills in total, and we take the victory just by a bare thread here. We really just handed that to ourselves at the last second with some clutch plays, although it was a little bit of a weak ending in my in my point of view. Both of my deaths happened towards the end, which I wouldn't have liked. Uh, it was a fun game, and let's check our stats here. 19,000 player damage, not very much, but in terms of the game, uh, relatively high. Of course, Zeus bringing in 43,000 player damage. That's pretty significant. Zeus, with that Aegis Shield, able to clear and affect the enemy team in a uh, much larger area now uh, so much more effectively I think I I'm going to do a video covering Zeus and my thoughts I just haven't had a time to really get it going but my in my kind of impressions having played him is that it's a very very good uh change for him I think it's it makes him play differently for sure so it might take a little getting used to but I think it's a very good change uh you uh guys hopefully are enjoying the content thanks so much as always my name is Rain Day never give up never stop gaming like share comment subscribe you know the deal. And as always, I'll see you next time.